we are plugged into Jesus. In our last devotional that we had, we learned what? Well, we learned that only those people who have righteousness as a gift from God through Jesus Christ can uphold the law. Do we then overthrow the law by this faith? By no means. On the contrary, we uphold the law. How can we receive Jesus' righteousness? How? Well, through our faith in him alone. That's what the Apostle Paul emphasizes. And be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith. We must depend on Jesus alone. We must. You know, I think I have a really perfect illustration for this to help you understand. You know, when you plug into electricity to use your lights or microwave or hair dryer, whatever, things like that. Well, the electricity, it continuously runs, continuously. It's not like a battery where it runs down. You know, we plug into our obedience to the law. We're plugging into ourselves, and it's not successful. Why? Because our obedience goes up and down like the battery does, up and down. It just diminishes, sometimes up, but then goes right back down. But when we plug into Jesus, looking to him only, we're successful. Why? Because his obedience was perfect the whole time he was here on earth. We trust in Jesus only, and we are successful in upholding the law. Now, we depend on Jesus, but what does that mean specifically? I mean, really, what does that mean? Well, it means that we walk according to the Holy Spirit. In other words, we live following the Holy Spirit's work in us. This is with application of Jesus' work. Through Jesus, the law is fulfilled in us. In order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Scripture makes it clear that we need to plug into Jesus by faith alone. You notice in the verse it says that we do not walk according to the flesh. It's important that we understand this, that we do not earn our way into heaven through our obedience to God's law. Earn our way to heaven? No. And because of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became to us wisdom from God, righteousness and sanctification and redemption. That we plug into Jesus. He is our righteousness. He is our sanctification, our redemption. This is ongoing from the time we plug into him. You know, some people believe that we have to plug into ourselves. No, that's the flesh. Who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Salvation is accomplished how? God's work through Jesus Christ. He who we need to plug into, and Him alone. Some people, and that includes Christians, they believe that we need to plug into Jesus. Oh yes, that's very important to have our faith in Him. But if you go on and ask them, do you mean that we have faith in Jesus alone? We're plugging only into Him. They'll say, well, no, no. We also need to plug into ourselves, obeying the law. Well, if we plug into Jesus and ourselves, that means that we need to work to earn our way to heaven, to be have se salvation successful. Is that right? That means that Jesus was not successful in his work on the cross. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished, and he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Only Jesus, his work all by himself, saves us. He changed us. He empowers us for God's law to be fulfilled in us. That's what he did to make the gospel so beautiful for God's glory. Oh, that's why we praise him. That's how we are successful in upholding the law for eternity through faith in Jesus Christ alone. Coram Dio. To live Coram Dio is to live one's entire life in the presence of God, under the authority of God, and to the glory of God.